Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Club Tweed for the quarterfinals of the Golden Nugget. This afternoon, we're showcasing a men's singles match. And in co-commentary with me this afternoon is my good friend, Mr. Bruce Kirk. Good afternoon, Bruce. Good afternoon, Brian. It's uh, good to be back here. Got a good game ahead of us here with Lee Schreiner and Aaron Tees. Mate, you don't get much better this than this is after the mouth-watering replay of last year's final in that last game, which is an absolute gem of a game, uh, Bruce. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a very good game, actually. Um, I'm sure, uh, mind you, if... Uh, calling it a replay I'm sure if um, Gary Kelly had have won that game I don't think Garen would have given him the trophy <laughs> <laughs> I'm quite sure he wouldn't have maybe see a great starter there from Lee Schreiner and of course Aaron T's now chasing this bowl here he's not too far away as it's coming into the head what a great bowl there by, by Teasy and you can also see the people that are picked for the uh, world championship um, uh, Bruce are also using their bowls to uh, get the feel of them, which I think is a wonderful uh, idea to get used to them before such a, a huge event coming up. Yeah, red and blue. Red and blue. Yeah. So we welcome all our viewers this afternoon and hope to uh, sit back and enjoy a colossal game of bowls. Um, finals tomorrow, 1 o'clock. Um, 1 o'clock tomorrow, uh, Clint. Yep. Let's go, Leroy, says Raymond. That's Leroy's club down in. Tell you what, Teasy, just going to pull up a tad short, but what a brilliant line he had on that there. That's a good three-quarter length end. Good crowd in attendance here today. A little bit overcast conditions here at Tweed for this game. It was very warm. Um, the last game is down to 26.8 degrees where uh, Bruce, Robbie and I are sitting. Uh, Leroy looking for a little trail here. Perfect line. Is he just going to carry? Just going to just gonna miss it. Gee, that's a great try though. That's a brilliant try by Leroy. Still got another bowl to play there. He's got the opportunity. Very unlucky with that one. Just got that just on the wrong side. I think, uh, Aaron, I'd like to finish up in that little gap there that's between the blue and the maroon bowl. Tell you what, mate, he's awfully close to it. Doesn't want to tickle it across. Uh, well that's done. Andy home. Good yeah. afternoon, Barbara Austin. And good afternoon, Danny. It should be a ripper of a game. You got that right, buddy. OK, Leroy coming down to have a look at this. Now, the other game's on this afternoon, Bruce. Yes, we've got... Um but in the playoffs to make the semis, we've got this one, Aaron and Lee. We've got Benny Twist. He's up against Gary Kelly. Um, it's quite a, ironic. Gary Kelly was uh, was leading the section with Aaron Sheriff, and uh, and and ended up dropping down to third. Yeah. Uh, in section B. And he only lost by two. <laughs> yeah, lost by two. <laughs> but virtue of the fact that um, uh, now what happened there was. Um, who had the uh, TZ had a win by about seven or eight, yep. and that jumped him up into second spot with, okay. the, with a win. And in the um, the girls, oh, the girls, the ladies um, playoffs, we've got Lindsay Clark. She's uh, up against uh, Caitlin Inch. Yep, and Christina Christick from WA is up against our Kelsey Cottrell from Queensland. There, oh, great try by Leroy, just a little bit wide. Some great games, though, isn't that? Oh, what we're yeah. saying he's just absolutely, uh, absolutely incredible class over this uh, green. Down to one green now. Had two full greens of quality play, but we're just down now to uh, all on one green. The uh, oh, thanks for that, Clint. Um, and also out of this game, the winner of this goes in against Aaron Sheriff uh, for the uh, to play in the semi. Uh, the winner of Ben and Gary goes up against Corey Wedlock. The winner of Linny and Caitlin Inch uh, goes up against Natasha Van Eldick. And Christina Christick and Kelsey Cottrell, the winner of that, goes up against Dawny Heyman. Gee whiz. <laughs> yeah. So there's some, uh, there's some good bowls and some good participants there. It's, uh, well, just the red-hot field, really, isn't it? You know oh, yeah. Mean? Yep. Um, definitely on YouTube, isn't it, Robbie? Yeah, it is, Mark. It's on YouTube, mate. Yeah, we always uh, we always put it out to YouTube, mate. So 
Definitely there. Robbie's just double checking. Just says definitely there. So <laughs> he didn't forget it, mate. It's there apparently. So go on, your mark. Okay, TZ just got to correct his weight after his first. This one here just starts working into the head. Has he got the kitty? Just trickle past. Green running superbly here again this afternoon. Also, too, I said we've uh, we've out the sun out on it, but it's still running absolutely magnificently. Leroy's not going to be far away with this one. Start to stop, uh, Lee. Yeah, good ball. Great Hold ball. on, one. Okay, this one Tiji's going to be chasing. Got a good area on this one here too. She starts working down towards the kitty. That's a great correction there by Aaron. Lovely bowl that. Yep. Just to get inside there. Well, there, was, there was room, but uh, he's done a wonderful job in getting in there. And I'm just... Uh, Yeah, g'day Blake, how are you buddy? Yeah mate, it's a pretty pretty good field really, Blake, isn't it mate? Isn't it mate, I do know that bud, don't you worry about that. From uh, Leroy, just, uh, just needs a little bit more grass. See this is probably the backhand playing back this way is probably the wider hand of, of the two to play. Okay, Aaron knows this one needs a friend. I tell you what, he's played this brilliantly too. Uh, and if he tickles it back there, that's... Oh, Probably just the two, I just think. Just the two, but you could well be looking at that bowl down at 7 o'clock there. I'll just see what uh, Dennis has to say. Yep. Very close to two was a call by, uh, by Dennis, a very experienced marker. <laughs> yeah, there's been some great bowls played, uh, Blake, that's for sure, mate. You back in WA, Blake? Okay, been down for a bit of a look. Quite realistic though, both those bowls could probably go. The only thing being is that he, he would probably get his own bowl though. I think He'd take his own, yeah. Yeah, probably a trail, just a trail, trail off there. He could make two, maybe three shots out of it. If he gets the kitty in the belly, I'll tell you what, he is awfully close to this. Very, very close. Oh, just ran past him. I, I, yeah, I thought he may have come the other hand to uh, to try and rock that bowl of. Uh... Oh, beauty, Blake! Fantastic, mate. Look forward to catching up with you, son. You look after yourself, mate. Good day, Philip. Watching from Silver, though. Two shots. Yep. Yep. Two to Aaron. As the sun comes out. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, geez, there's some ominous clouds up in the north, though, over on the northeast. Yes. Uh, see, from here, uh, you can see that, can't you? Uh, mm, geez. Uh, well, we had a drop of rain last night here at uh, Tweed Heads, or not just a Tweed, on the southern end of the coast, driving down this morning. Uh, really, I think there's... Um, Bruce said, bit of rain from him from um, Mudry Bar down. So about right too, I reckon. Yeah, Mudry so Bar and then down to Eleanor and then it stopped and yeah. uh, it was fine for the rest of the way down. Nice start with Teasy. Start yeah. to turn in, going to run past a little bit there. Yeah, handy bowl there.
Thanks, Joshy. Go, <laughs> go afternoon, Bruce, Robbie, Brian, and Aaron Tees. Okay, so I'd say Joshy's rooting for uh, for Aaron there. Yeah, but how many capitals did he use? All of them. Every, the whole thing. Must be pay day. Yep, yep. Joshy's great expense. Get involved with some uh, maybe capital punishment there. He's a good lad. Okay, both of them a little bit long with those ones. Sure, they're going to correct. Quality play all over the green here this afternoon. Good crowd in attendance. Oh, well done, Teasy. Yeah, Pulled up start. really well. Smooth delivery, Lee. Oh, Lovely delivery. Yeah, absolutely. Got a magnificent delivery. <laughs> this is why he normally gets results like this too. Just pulling up just a tad short. Perfect line on that one. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to disappear here for a while because I've got a World Bowls meeting and in co-commentary with Bruce this afternoon is going to be Dal McWinnie Shillington who knows a little bit about these players oh, oh there he is behind me with that I'm going to disappear and go and have a meeting and uh, you folks have a good call we shall Just having a bit of a run at this. He wants to take the jack back and has he to um into the ditch and nine This is on there. Hey Dalla. How are you, mate? Ah, there we go. So we're getting all the getting the dirty laundry out of the uh, out of the ditch and uh, looks like it is yes it is. Uh, just next to the number two marker, there's the, the the jack there, and he's in the ditch with the uh, that blue bowl there. Great bowl there from uh, from Lee. Long week of commentary for you boys. Yeah, we got uh, this week. Oh, with the juniors. Yeah, a junior nugget. And then we got here. Then we got uh, half an hour break, That's and then we're off to Mackay. Absolutely, yeah, very, very busy. What a great shot there from TZ, draw to the lip of the ditch. Mm, yep. Oh, well, cheers for having me on. Yeah, pleasure, mate, pleasure. What would you? What else would you be doing? Well, I just Sitting finished the bar work. Sitting having a beer. <laughs> yeah, just finished work, come down here, come for a watch, and then sit here with you boys. It rain up middle of the coast? Say that again, Does sir? it rain up at Burley Way? Uh, no. No, no, no. Not when I left, anyway. The only thing I'm worried about is that southeast big black cloud over there. Maybe it'll go around. Well, that's well. The wind's oh no, it's turned. The wind's turned around a bit. Uh, let it go out to sea. We're not going to worry about it. Yeah, I played here just last week. It was always a one dark cloud around, but none of it ever landed. What have the viewers done wrong? We go from Brian to Dale. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well done, one. Viddle. <laughs> Alan Viddler. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course it is. The Golden I saw him there this morning. He definitely yeah. was. One of your boys out here at the moment, Alan. Lee Schreiner using his Optimus or Dynamics. Mm -hmm. Be one of the two. Decent start against Lee here. That'd make it 4 0, would it not? It would. Mm. 
press the button. There we go. Now we're on. Now we're on. Greens will be up there around the 18 second mark once again, I would say. Yeah, the first game we had this morning was uh, running about 16. Yep. And but this uh, it would have dried out, dried out by now, and virtue of the wind, dried so it out a little bit. Uh, quite a heavy dew this morning. Oh, there was, yeah, and a little bit of rain down here. This uh, also, but Cole's That's done a good job getting it all ready. Well done, Teasy. We've, uh, I mean, we get some requests coming through on the live stream, it's, it's, and you know, what sort of bowls are they using? Are they XGs? Are they this? Are they that? Everyone coming through, <laughs> and then all of a sudden we had one that said. What shoes are the marker? Is the marker wearing? <laughs> they look nice. <laughs> it was a, had some interest in them. Yeah, blue pair of Asics. <laughs> Yogi, best come on, Lee. Well, I'm sure he's trying, mate. Did we do Lee the other day? No, we didn't do Lee uh, Schreiner the other day, did we? No, we had... Um, it was Cody Packer and Nathan Patterson, that's right. Lee back, staying down here on the back end, sit the bowl, touch Jack. None of these shots you'll be watching are the easiest out here. Going off how fast this green is, um, that back end coming back towards the club is the wide side. Oh, he's electing to try and rip the bowl out. Yep. Oh, Ooh. not a bad result. Bounced up. Holding the one, uh, one bowl shootout. <coughs> Teasy will elect to stay on that wide side. The wide side from... Um, ...that far. Any more running it, it'd be doing all right. I mean, it's one. I don't think it's good enough. Lee to get on the board here. Get his T to T length going, I would imagine. Let's see what he's got. Say so that's a line for it. Yeah, lovely bowl. Sure, yeah, good shot definitely. Well done, Lee. Uh, Chris, yeah, wish you were there. You're going to miss the final. You, uh, I think last time we spoke, you were over the border working, I think, from memory. Chris E. Monk. Yeah, it's Maury. Maury, from that's KCL right. KCL Bowling Greens. Mm -hmm. Ripping out perfectly good grass greens to put some synthetic down. Right. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, doing a good job. <laughs> And Etty and Van Ruin, mate, it's a pleasure over there. Hope it's. Uh, is it still cold over in South Africa? It, uh, apparently, it was minus degrees yesterday over there. As elected. Straight to the T to T leg. <laughs> the Don't get me started, Dale. What's up? <laughs> From Chris Monk. No, yeah. <laughs> Don't get me started. <laughs> he loves it. <laughs> Good to see. Probably not the start he was looking at. Gets his first, his first length, his go-to, his T to T. Falling short with that first one. Be slightly disappointed. Be really looking to put that pressure on, make his move. Teasy's response is quite solid to pass that jack. Yeah, a couple of feet behind. Well done. Uh, Helene, uh, the other games being played at the moment, Gary Kelly on uh, a couple of rinks up on rink five, 
And in the ladies, we've got Lindsay Clark up against Caitlin Lynch uh, next door. Six, we've got Christina Christick up against Kelsey Cottrell. <coughs> a couple of good games there. I think uh, anyone can play anyone. It's going to be a good game out here. Oh, yeah. Yep. Shot there from Teasy. I, going off here, shot selection last send. I reckon Lee's going to run this in. Uh, going with the draw. And waiting in the wings is Aaron Sheriff. Um, plays the winner of this match. Corey Wedlock plays the winner of Twisty and Gary Kelly. Ah, oh, lovely bowl. Great shot there from Lee. Yep, well done. Um, dinger. Natasha Van El or Caitlin. That means they're going to be great games. And I will miss them. Uh, I've got... Uh, uh, Brian's going to be calling tomorrow. I've got to go up to Brisbane. The yeah, like with the change hand. Ooh. Miss a front. He's very close. Oh, that is a great shot oh, there from TZ. Stay with Absolutely it. Absolutely sensational. Early, no. Regardless, regardless whether he's holding or not, he's giving himself a great opportunity with the next one. He's got the last bowl. Yeah. Two yeah. bowls to one in the head. And really looking at that head, what chances Lee have, especially if he does. To draw wide on the forehand just to get another bowl in the area. Lessen the damage of what TZ could do with that last. <laughs> Jesse Turnbull. You know it, boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, round you come, uh, Lee. Jesus. Slightly passed. They're yeah, saying that's one of the best shots he could have played in so this scenario. So what's Dennis? Uh, yeah, Dennis is holding up one blue paddle there. And, uh, Here's Wonderly. Teasy down the... F hmm. Questionable. Like, he can play it either side. I think um, ultimate result, regardless of which hand he plays it on, he's looking for his short... Meter short, but the three, four inches short bowl. Any connection onto that that goes on to Lee sitting two, at least. That's right. Let's see what he's standing on the mat there. I, th yeah. That's oh, forehand. So going down the forehand, trying to use that arc to get back to it. Oh, he could be on the tighter side, I think. Yeah, he's, he's cut put it away in there too, but he's cut it across. Cut yeah, it. and he knows it. <coughs> Excuse me. He, he, about three, four steps off the mat, he just waved it away as if to say, no, nope, sorry. Good shot choice too, because even if he gets the jack, he's got his toucher that he hit on the way through. Mm. He'd be slightly disappointed with that one. Lee has made his mark. He's um, won an end, gone tee to tee, which is his favourite length, and he's won the end. That's how you make your move. Well, yep, T to T, or, or thereabouts. Ah, Gary Kelly just played an absolute bomb over there against Twist. Bad start there from Lee. Gets the the weight right first up. On a green this quick, that's your that's your goal. That way, oh, Teasy, what a shot! Well, I just said that uh, Gary Kelly played a uh, bomb over there. Twisty came through, took it <laughs> took it away from him, took it back for two. Great bowling there. There's uh, we got. 
four great games going on here. I can't see the uh, without my glasses or out these. Uh, Caitlin 6-4 up over Linny Clark. Gary Kelly 5-2 up over Ben. And Christina Christic 5-4 up over Kelsey. Oh, running pass. Good effort there. And what have you got coming up, buddy? Uh, so, yeah, i got a massive um, couple of weeks of bowls. Uh, so this weekend we play our double header, which is our last double header of the season mm -hmm. um, for Pennant. Um, so we're playing at Helensvale two games, then I go straight to the airport and fly to Sydney. Oh, UBC. And then start the UBC on Sunday. Um, and then, yeah, hopefully playing every single second of that, which would be Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Fly back Saturday morning and play the very last round of, of Pennant, our last home game. Um, yep. and the last game in total. And then champion, champion, single, semi-final and hopefully final on the Sunday. On so the it's Sunday. going to be seven, I'm oh, sorry, nine consecutive days of bowls. So yeah, it should be fun. Yeah. yeah. I might be bowled out by the end of it, but looking forward <laughs> to it. Really looking forward to it. All the opportunities are falling my way. Just got to grab them with both hands and oh, keep pushing right. forward. Wish you all the well with it. Yeah, thank you. It's a really good set here from TZ. Nailed it twice. One just passed. Absolutely solid. Lee is in... It, this particular head is in all sorts of issues. Um, if he hits it, he's, he's still down. He's... I dare say he's just trying to draw a second shot, which isn't the easiest thing to do out here. Uh, gone a bit wide. Mm. Oh, so that third shot down the bottom, just near the arrows um, uh, badge down the bottom down there, that's holding third shot for uh, for Deasy. Yes. So he could pick up a, a maximum here if he can just draw in there. And he, he's I mean, got really no danger either. Like no. if, he, if he does touch his own ball with too much weight, he's still going to hold four. It's, oh, that's um, right. It's a win-win situation. Even if it comes back, he's correct. He's set this up well. come out just a little different. Could be wrong. But you want to be under that, TC? Yeah. Three. Lee just uh, got out of jail a little bit on that one. He didn't yeah. rub the salt into the wound. Still three nonetheless. Making that seven, two. There it is. Yep. There we go. They don't mess around. They get the mat down and away she goes. They do not. It's fast play action. What's um, Lenny's score just on that next ring there? Oh, Lenny Speckles. <laughs> Lenny is... Oh, uh, no. No score. Oh, there it is around the corner. Caitlin is... Oh, they're moving Caitlin's score. 7-4 to Caitlin at the moment. Got to be very... Uh, Bipartisan, but come on, Linny. <laughs> that should be a good game, regardless. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Linny, Linny with the originally would have been the slight advantage being the home green advantage, mm. but in saying that, they've been here all week now. <clears throat> Noticing the Lee has decided to go to the tight side, and he's nailed it to some, to some degree now, but.
And the slight difference at this point since I've uh, sat down is Teasy's getting that first bowl past the head. Regardless if someone nails it with their first bowl, your first bowl was past the head. I would like to say you've got a slight, slight advantage. Yep. You've, you know, some of the best players out in the, in the world out here are not going to miss with four. We had uh, Gary Kelly and uh, Omar in Great the previous show. game, and uh, I think there was four killed ends. Just they just look at the head and went, "No, this is it's got to go. I've got to kill it," and bang, they do it. Yeah, just absolutely. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> Repetition. Yeah, that's right. Yep. You do it enough, you're backing yourself time after time again. You do here, Lee. You do not want to put anything in that gap. Select and change hands. Play on the forehand. Just get past Jack. Hopefully still count. If you don't, so be it. You pass the head. And slightly on the tighter side here. Yeah, he doesn't oh. want the Jack. He uh -oh. wants... Uh -huh. Not what he wanted. Nope. That is a Jack in the ditch runner. All day of the week for Teasy. Gap is still... Oh, there's the drift. The old tweed had the drift. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he, was, he was out of the hand. That was pretty close. He turned around and said to lead. Jesus, what's going on there? Dare say he's back to... Uh, left in the forehand again. Draw the shot. Match his outside ball. Definitely played the safe line. It's a good choice. Will he make it back? Matthew wants to know what bowls they're using. Uh, uh, TZ would be using XGs. Yep. I reckon uh, Lee would be using either Dynamics or Optimus. Uh, yep, fair enough. Do you have it written down, Bunny Jets? Hey. Do you have it written down, Bunny Jets? No. No. We'll get... Uh, he normally uses Dynamics. Um... Robbie will just focus in on that uh, when we get a chance. He focuses at the off camera with the one of the side. Uh, Tim Twining, leaves uh, Evolve. Evolve. Oh, that's right. He did tell me that. He had changed. Gone for the middle line between the Dynamic and the Optima. Uh, and Cody. Oh, Cody's come on with the. So I gather he's using Evolves. Amanda, yeah. that's good news that you've actually learned. You know, you learn something. You've been watching the juniors plus what we've got here. Really enjoy the. Uh, I've really learned a lot about tactics. Yeah, Alan. Uh, yeah, there's a few people have come on and said they're they're evolved, mate. So far, the tight side's been more of the consistent drawing hand. Hmm. So I've seen. <clears throat> so he's probably holding the one. He needs to hold his line on this one. Run through just a bit. 
Yeah, not an awful setup. Just looking at not that. Not really good head either, considering no. the last ones. Robbie just ducked away on us, but the score is 5 7 to Teasy. It's um, a good shot there. What's it up on the board? Because. Uh, Yeah, it's up on the board there, so we'll uh, we'll fix that up shortly. The uh there we go to start it again. Side sort of drop his own in under it or around it. Close here. It is. Uh yeah, sure. well done. That'll give Lee one. He's just got the fingers out. Little measuring trick with the fingers. I'll have a look, uh, Ryan. He wants to know what shoes you're actually wearing. He saw them on uh, on the coverage but couldn't see what they were. What was that? What shoes are you wearing? Am I wearing? Yeah, he's got it here. Yeah. What shoes is Dale rocking lately? Saw them on the coverage but couldn't see what they were. Oh, oh bad luck. Uh. Yeah, it was a potentially the two. Mark has already got the one paddle up. Yep. Yeah, no, at least picked it up. Well, I dare say he probably wasn't... De he definitely wouldn't have been going for the wider side of it. He would have been underneath that line. Jack was two or three, not happy. Um, yeah, and down underneath that, rips it out. Robbie's still missing. See if I can turn this camera view around. Uh, the red uh, the red button. Uh, the space bar. Oh, yeah? I nice. uh, uh, no, and again, I think. And again, gives us the... Oh, oh no, it's put us back. It... Robbie, where are you? <laughs> yeah, just inside talking to you. He's got that meeting. Uh, just give us a sec. I'll figure it out. Not a clue because I was fiddling around trying to solve the problem. And there we go, reverse beauty. Makes you feel needed, Robbie. When we when we mess it up and you fix it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't touch it. My pay grade doesn't allow that. Hmm. But I always thought it was the now six, red, seven. the little red bar there. But I didn't it went to a side camera. I'll have my apology in writing. Yes. <laughs> in blood. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, a little knocker there from Matt from Teasy. As we could see, he's a little disappointed on that last end and just goes and nails a couple of this end. No, Joshua, the space bar is not the karaoke channel, mate. Karaoke channel is channel 14 and Ravi's taped that button down and uh, just up here, channel 14, we... Let Josh Beatty know once that we were uh, we had karaoke on Channel 14. <laughs> and he's forever getting wanting us to get up there. Uh, but we haven't got a list of requests as yet. Oh, there we go. Knocked him out. 
chipped one of them out. Still, still one down. Depending on the camera angles, it could be two. It looks like just one. Teasy. Draw another one here, put the pressure on. Yeah, I'd fancy Lee for the second shot there. Uh, yes. Yeah, so and probably I. with uh, <laughs> with either of those two blue balls. Yes, agreed. He'll go again. I mean, I th well, I would go again. Yep. Going off a runner. First two attempts. Chip it out. We even get the jack solid. Yeah, he's going for the draw. That's why they're out there. Would have liked to see just a little bit of ticker. Say so you get the bowl out. He's got a fair bit of room to draw. Let's just say he doesn't draw it. You're a little upset. If he does draw it, so be it. You drop one. But that is a great shot. That is a wonderful shot. Well done, uh, Lee. And, ooh. I'm fancying that uh, blue bowl at, down the bottom as the second shot now, possibly inside there. Teasy looking just a little bit frustrated. Come on, Dennis, get on your knees so we can look under that sign. Two it is. Yep, two it was. Digger's trying to throw me under here. <laughs> <laughs> Doing everything again to throw me under the bus. <laughs> Looking at the comments. Yeah, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Thought we were mates. Love it. He's seen a little bit of frustration. He's wins a couple ends. Now he's going to dead minimum just to flip the switch up. Uh, yeah, we've got a bit of intermittent, um, a lot to do with the cloud cover that's out there with the, uh, with the, um, do it, um. Set. Yeah, two to ten. It's the choice here. Dad, draw it. Touch that jack for two. Sit the bowl. One, maybe. Must reach on, on this. On a little bit. Nope. Yeah, still good. Just cut it down to one. To give It'll himself be more options. Yep. Keep rolling, Aaron. Yeah, good shot. He's uh, he's running at this one. You get both of them. You make well. You could get all three. You get the inside half of Teasy's last ball. You can potentially get all three and hold three yourself. Mm. You play it down the back end. You got the extra chance of getting the jack. And if you're slightly wide, you got chances through your own. It's a back end runner all day of the week. Oh. 
tight. Oh, tight. Yep. He's played a forehand. That got oh. me. It's a good shot. Yeah, see what you're saying there. He, uh, yeah, a little bit tight. He could have taken that, the red bowl on the right out, and the, by virtue of the shot going out that way, yeah, uh, could I think have taken he ended it out. up. He ended up playing a forehand, even yeah. though it looked like backhand. He's um, he's pretty much at a solid. Um, yeah, still a fair shot for going what he was playing for. Well, we may have a new leader after this bowl. Is it coming in? Yes, it is. Great shot there. Yeah. It's easy. Yeah. Boost of confidence. Three it was. Yeah. Three, even with the touch of the jack. Yeah, just Great brought shots. it across a little bit. Yep. Ten, eight. Happy went through his intermittent coverage glitch and has solved it. I'm sure he would. Oh, I'm sure he would be happy to share. Going with the middle to T. Dead weight first up. <coughs> Not a bad start there from Teasy. What's that? Oh, okay. Switching up, switching up to the tight side. Connection on his own, dead draw the shot, played it well. Yep, well done, just be coming out now. Yep. Good shots there from Teasy. Clear will switch up as well, over to the backhand. Bad reply, one to Teasy. Given extra options with his next one. Teasy to switch back over. So he gets slightly under Lee's, even if he's around it, he's in the area. <coughs> Needs to stay off the ball. He has. Coming around. Right around, that's a great shot. Far away. Lightly work. T 
TG with the finger measure, figure out how many he's holding. Dare say it could be two. Over. Uh, there we go. No. I'm just trying to find something on there. On uh, looking at the wrong one. That's probably why I can't find it there. I'm asking it to turn. Gets around it. Or even under it. it. Yeah. Yep. What's this going to do? Oh, ran out. Questionable. Yeah. Bit of everything happened there. I think Teasy fires himself up. Just a little bit of frustration. Gets him up. Consistency has gone through the roof. That's what he's doing. Yeah, uh, yeah. He just shook his head on that shot there, the last one there, just rolled itself out. And uh, Lee forehand, I'd like to pick it up and take it back to his blue bowl on the right of screen there, or just come in and, uh, because if he comes in and rock that, Shot bowl out and sat. He'd pick up a couple there. Doubtful. It's Jack in the ditch for two. Ooh. You miss. You get both of these. Yeah, in off, in off that one. Teasy's pointing that. Potentially get all three of them. Jack for two. Gets the holes on Uggy. Have a look at that one there. He wants Inside that one, but Lee ain't given anything just yet. Yeah, that other one's out. For just a second. All right, buddy. Thank you, Doke. Oh, that's awfully close. Do you want to have a look, he says? One, two, was it the third one in there? Just the two. He took that side one out. And uh, Dennis just holding up a couple there. Yes, that's the two to, uh, to Aaron. Yeah, Merle, we, sorry about that. We we do not know, and it's only yesterday somewhat and today, that static noise that's coming in. It's um, this afternoon, uh, uh, I think Robbie ran the, uh, the air hose through uh, 
most of the switches there to uh, see if there's anything on. If there's a dirty switch there, but uh, I'll uh, when Brian gets back from his meeting, I might pop inside and uh, and see what if it's like on my iPhone to see what the because well, we can't hear it or I can't hear it through my uh, headset. Well done, Teasy. Bowl here from Lee Schreiner. Just wants to sit on it. Yeah, well done, man. Well done. <laughs> no, Alan, we didn't let him touch any buttons, though. Oh, go on and taking it back. So I'd say it's probably going to be sitting pretty well close. Yeah, there she is, just back next to the number. And the toucher in the ditch is uh, uh, a metre or so to the left, just near where uh, Dennis is standing there, the, uh, the marker. Good morning, Terry. to come if anything he needs a straightener off that no I'm not too sure on that looking at that I'd say that uh, perhaps no the blue bowl will be the second shot there uh, I don't think that on the the maroon in the in the ditch is going to be uh, Ah, good bowl. Yeah, Wonder Lee, 9-12 or 12-9 to Aaron. Aaron clapping that bowl as it came in and rightfully so. It was a very good bowl. I mean, he had a lot of room to, to draw around there, but... Uh, Pulled it up just in the right distance. Uh, well done to him. Okay, where's that? Uh, Matt, back on the, uh, the tee. Yes, it is out there. And he's, as you can see, he's a couple of metres uh, uh, short of the tee at the at the uh, at the other end there. Lovely starting bowl leash. Aaron needs to just come up and uh, he's out on a good line there. Just want to see if he's going to turn sufficiently. He was starting to turn now but maybe turning a little bit too soon and cutting across the head, which it is.
Um, Matthew, you apply for the job, mate. There. You know, very shortly, I'll just go on um, on the uh, website. Oops, that's not a website. On the website for uh, Club Tweed. Uh, C L U B. There we go, Club Tweed. When you get there, it'll show up the the uh, the page, the front page of uh, Club Tweed. If you click on the three bars on the right hand side that'll take you to bowls go right down the bottom third from the bottom golden nugget and then go to golden nugget towards the bottom there it's 31st of July to the 3rd of August golden nugget press more and there should be ah there we go and it'll come up as uh, results and draw so that's the results as at um, after uh, round five, now we're into this, um, uh, which is a playoff for the semis. Oh, Aaron, not turning enough, mate. No. no. So, uh, Alfred, hopefully, yep. Uh, all that, that that will give you the finishing results for uh, after round five. So two to Lee, uh, twelve eleven to uh, to Aaron. Uh, so that'll tell you where they finished in relation to um, after round five. And then on the bottom of that, you'll see uh, men's and ladies playoff game one uh, and game two. And then tomorrow we've got the semi-final and the final on Thursday. Okay, rink looks very tricky. Um, yeah, there is a wide side and a a, a narrow side there. Um, results here on uh, Tweed Ospreys. There's a link there. I and Chucky Vogler watching from the Amalfi from Amalfi in Italy on his cruise through the Mediterranean. Eleven, twelve, Robbie. You find the results on the Tweed Ospreys uh, Facebook page. Yeah, oh, on their Facebook page too, okay. Or on their website. Yeah, I just went through with Alfred how to get it on the website. So, uh, But that will that just takes you up to where the fin uh, finishing standings were at the end of round five. And, uh, and as we said, you've uh, got the playoffs to uh, see who goes into the semis tomorrow. We've got Aaron versus Lee here. Benny Twist up against Gary Kelly. Lindsay Clark Kate, uh, versus Caitlin Lynch and Christina Christie up against Kelsey Cottrell. I'll just get some scores on those if I can get out that far. Christina Christie is 14-9 over Kelsey. Uh, Gary Kelly 13-7 over Benny Twist. And Caitlin, 12-9. Caitlin Inch over Lenny Clark. Good shot here from Lee. Trying to roll his own over. That would be three. Um, tease his decision here. Draw the shot. Draw the shot in the forehand. you got a whole bench to work off. Getting half considered running the three bowls. 
was pretty close if he gets some sort of turn out of that hand. Uh, good turn on that middle bowl there to be had. Oh, no. <laughs> He's loving it. Can't see what he put up there. I think he only put up one. Yeah, it'd only be one. Um. Let's see, where's Dylan? Covering? Yeah, no, it's not coming in. It's um, yeah, not awful there. No, he just um, came in. Nah. When Teasy tries to draw the shot there, he's a little quick. Yeah, he gets a potential three, so not a bad decision. Uh, Teasy play that same shot as his last. You know, maybe just draw the shot. Potentially could have before played it with a meter through his last bulb, through the jack, sit the blue clean. Oh, he's going for it. He's only got all of them. No. I think it was... Uh, Allowing for the drift there and didn't get it. I noticed out here last week, if you played that um, control weight, you got the drift. Mm -hmm. Where if you played quite firm, you still got some turn. Right. Yep. Which was quite confusing at some points of the game. <coughs> what were you... Uh, were you did you have pennants down here, or what did I you... I played the Tweed Open Prestige singles. Oh, of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now these... ...got on. Leah's curl back, 12 all. The uh, Tweed Osprey's Facebook page has commented the link to the results. So if anybody wants to go see, click on the link and it'll take you right to it. Yeah, handy start there from Lee. I agree with that poll to some extent. There are four sides, wide side and narrow side, plus two directions. To some degree, I, I agree with that. Depending on your surroundings around, what the green looks like. It's not always like that, but in some cases there is. Oh, pulling up shortly. The, uh He won't be stoked with that one, but he, um, he has blocked a hand for future reference. May work at disadvantage, may be disadvantaged. Not bad there from TZ, really. I know it's probably not what he was going for, but it is quite handy. And in saying that, TZ is hating playing this tight side. Yeah, but from what I've seen, he only really wants to play the wide side. So a short bowl on the wide side, taking TZ off it. Not a bad bowl. As you can see, he's um, he's loving it. Logan Rintoul, what grass is it we are playing on? Tiff Dwarf. Tiff Dwarf. That'll be the majority of the coast. Well, I was just about greens. to say, I think pretty much every grass green that I know of mm -hmm. in southeast Queensland is Tiff Dwarf. Right. I lied. There is a um, 
Queensland Blue Cooch Green at Maruka. Maruka Bowls Club. Oh, okay. Yep. It's, um, it's more or less for barefoot only. But it is still quite nice. What's Barudabin? Oh, I couldn't tell you. They're, they're, uh, because they're all, they're, well, primarily, um, primarily, uh, barefoot there now uh, for quite a number of years. There. Where is That's Br- a uh, new, uh, not yeah, new Yeah, the one the one dead set centre of the city. Uh, uh, just out from the city heading towards, down towards uh, Albion there. It's uh, Yeah, so like the one not that far from Hamilton. That's right. Norman Park. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's Tiff Dwarf. Yeah. It yeah. is all barefoot It's though. the oldest... Um, purely barefoot. Some days, though, you'd look at it and be like, wow, it looks really good <laughs> for a barefoot green. Yeah, they've done a, mu- a wonderful job there when it, uh, the bowl sort of died at, uh, around that in that area, that club there, and uh, uh, a clever entrepreneur. I mean, you look at that area, you've got 10 to 15 bowls clubs. And each one of them is about a 300 metre gap between them. <laughs> How are they ever going to survive? Oh, too right. Within two k's of each other, you've got Norman Park, Merthyr, New Farm. Oh, no, no, that's uh, that's on the other side of town there. Well, it's just on the other side of the river. You just drive around across the bridge. Yeah. Oh, go over, the, go over the gateway. No, 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 no. No, the Story Bridge. Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. Up, up through the valley and go over the Story Bridge. So yep. one side of the Story Bridge, there was New Farm and Merthyr. You go yep. over the Story Bridge and you come back down. I can't remember what the road was called. <coughs> um, and then straight away, you got Norman Park on your right, Camp Hill. Yep. Belmont Services down a little bit. I can't remember the names. There was another two in the middle there. And just near the Story Bridge with Brood. Yeah, yeah, well, it's down there, uh, yeah, heading from, yeah, going part through the valley and heading down mm. towards uh, Albion Way. Yeah, it's... Uh, but it's uh, someone, uh, a, as I said, a keen entrepreneur, turned that into a, a very... You name it, Bucks Parties, the, the whole range there. And uh, yeah, it's a great event. I presume you're from New Zealand. Yes. Uh, Logan, like yep. Starweed. Crowns open up. Yep. Yeah, so next door that's Caitlin Inch verse. And Linny uh, holding uh, probably three there at the moment. Oh, no. No. Yeah, that would make it two. Just scraped on for two. Just scraped in for the two. Teasing on the runner on the tight side. It's close. Well, I was Peel just going to have a look at uh, the head down there of uh, Lindsay and Caitlin's, but uh, Caitlin smashed it. So they dead in there.
Okay, no, nothing there. Lee has taken that lead. Yeah, he has. 14-12. Making a comeback. He was down by a few there at one point. And I think someone made a comment there, Casper, uh, 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 getting frustrated about that inconsistent tight hand. I think Lee's picked up on that and he's forced him onto it a few mm. times too. Whether that's by chance or on purpose, I'm not sure. Hey, Andrew, watching from Cambodia. Coming from uh, everywhere. Oh, mate, everywhere we... Uh, uh, <coughs> Andrew used to work with me. Oh, did he? Just going over, holidaying around. Turn, uh, TC. Mr. Rippard now. Probably good enough. Ball. No. I was going to say if it fell, it's certainly in, but... Uh, the angle oh, it looks like I'd it wants to. that. Hello, Fiona. The, uh... The signal we're getting in is absolutely. Yeah, our upload and our download are, are pretty good. It's just. Mm, Daisy's not happy with that. Here's a frustration drive. Oh. He's very, very, very unhappy. Yeah. <laughs> Really honest, I'm not overly sure why. Like he, he's been up most yeah, of this game. Yeah. He's only down by two, and he's gonna pull it back together. We all we all know that. <clears throat> but don't be wasting any shots right now. Cause Lee, like that, is gonna make you pay. You might as well go again now. You, you've had a go, had one go, go again. Going for the runner. And he's got the hole. And he's going to love that. I think that's 16-12 to Lee Shana. Yes. So the other rink updates are Kelsey Cottrell 10, Christina Christic 16, Gary Kelly 13, Ben Twist 12, and Caitlin Inch 13, Lindsay Clark 10. Aha, fantastic. Lindy's Carlo Fury, oh that's right, he's over in South Africa. Uh, In uh, the, uh, the or who's playing on it? That's from the organisers of the event. Rink one or two, or we'll, we were on one. We've moved the cameras to two, and uh, that's who we're getting. And they tell us. Two true it in. Good start there from TZ. Just past the head. Chances for later. It's interesting that everyone's having the pausing issue because I get it up on my phone and I don't have any pausing issues. No. Hmm. 
it's fine from this end, it's fine on my phone. Might be a simple just restart your Facebook or your YouTube, whatever you're watching. That's on. right, yep. Then just get it going again. That doesn't work. I'm not sure, I'm sorry. Shot there from TZ, potentially holding the one now. He is. Good shot. Lee, stay down there in the backhand, sit the bowl out, make the three, put the pressure on. <coughs> you get it with this one, TZ plays one bad one. Down with the last bowl. There's a big shot here. Need to rip in and hurry hard. Not his finest attempt, but he's still in the area. Christine, we appreciate that uh, the two true. They're having covering coverage issues. Uh, however, um, you know, I've got my phone on actually sitting next beside me. Um, Great shot, Teasy. Uh, well done. Really and good. That changes everything. That'll put a smile on his face. That changes everything. The danger is gone. It's holding to. What's Lee going to play? Is it a forehand runner? It is. That's the lineup for a runner. <coughs> forehand runner. Back in the ditch. As long as he doesn't get the inside half of the shot ball. And he's got it. Sure has. Yep. That's a great shot. <laughs> Hit the target, dude. Uh, someone requested Caitlin Inch score. That is... It's uh, dead 10 14 Might 10 to Caitlin over Lindsay. She must have drawn that the last time because Linny held one, maybe two. Mm. Caitlin was on the map with her last. She must have drawn it with her last. Marcus put up Linny holding one on that head. And I can only see Caitlin's balls around that jack. Must be missing something. If someone could comment to say that their stream is okay, because we've got a lot saying that it's freezing, just let us know if yours is all good. Play that back in around the clock. Yep, thanks, Nathan. <coughs> yep. Nathan yeah. says okay. And I'm I've got it on my uh, iPhone sitting beside me, uh, watching, and I've had no freezing whatsoever. And Anyway, it, 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 the game's there and uh, to be watched and uh, unfortunately we, we, we apologise if, uh, if it's getting... Um Started from Teasy. <coughs> yeah, uh, Robert Morelli is saying it's better now that I closed and reopened Facebook. Uh, Paul, we know of the background noise. We're just, um, it's coming through only on through one of the uh, the headsets and speakers. Um, and Chris Murray says it's freezing in Tasmania, but that's, that's a given, isn't it? <laughs> Going for the runner. By the looks of it, that looks like a forehand wind-up. Oof. 
Oh, a little wide there, uh, Lee. Yep. Batten the target up anymore. It still counts, there's gaps everywhere. Lee's going to go again. That yes. follow it through and that It's pretty close to it. I don't know. Has Teaser got any touches? I don't think he did. Ah, uh, no. Well, no. actually, no, he's multiple down. He has to just draw a second shot. Ready to come, Teasy. Stay up now. Yep. Stay up now. Yep. Good shot. Well done. Did he draw the shot? Yeah, yeah. Did he do the uh, shot? Yeah, because uh, I couldn't see the paddles, but I could see the blue paddles in Dennis's in his hand. hand. What an absolutely yeah. great shot from Teasy. That Good is, ball. That's a dime. Especially if he had a flopped in too. He was two down. He's, he's gone all out. He wanted the shot. He's drawn the shot. He's taking the risk. What a What a shot. What is he going for? <coughs> Yo, Matt back. And may just keep going. It might be long. Keep coming back. Keep coming back. There, it looks like it's going to be on the tee, is it? Yes, it is now. Yep, so you're going for long. About a metre and a half short of tee to tee. Going with the old faithful wide side. Hannes Van Eden, high Aussie land, high South Africa. Yeah, so I'm doing some guy. Michael Bretherton and Mary Falster is saying it's good over in Canada at the moment. So, I mean, there is intermittent um, cutting in and out, but uh, at the moment there's still 847 people connected uh, uh, watching. Starter from Lee. Switching back to the T to T. Won't be easy to get used to again straight away. <coughs> so really not a bad start. Less than a metre away. TV looks slightly under. Probably still going to count. It's a good shot. I thought, I was just looking in, I want to get the uh, scores moving along there, and uh, and uh, there's one, uh, two bowls of Caitlin's and one of Linney's on there, and that's all that's been fired, and they asked the marker and she held up three to Caitlin. <laughs> <laughs> I think Linney queried it because she went back in and had a count. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. What happened there? She uh, 
She thought, no, nah, I'm going to go in and take the shot straight off. So she went in. She's about a foot behind. Great bowl from uh, from Lindsay. It's making it two there. Two there for Teasy. Potentially two anyway. Good shot. All these got the draw. Two attempts. I'd say this one's not going to be too far away. Starting to turn. And oh, I might just run past that back bowl, but that'll probably... One yeah, to yeah, definitely one cut to it teasy. down. Yeah, he cut it right back. <laughs> Teasy will just try and match Lee's last bowl. Any draw to that, you fall flat, slightly short of it, you nut, it, nut the jack. All right, other rink updates. We've got Kelsey Cottrell, 12. Christina Christick, 20. Gary Kelly, 17. Ben Twist, 12. Caitlin Inch, 14. Lindsay Clark, 11. Uh, that's uh, Lee coming down to have a bit of a look here. He uh, I mean there is a draw. There is a draw around that front bowl of uh, of Aaron's and uh, Teasy just pointing down to his bowl, saying, uh, looks like he's got shot there. Uh, OK, Lee, you've uh, really got to either dead draw it or... or Take it over to your left. Is she going to be inside that? Uh, could be enough. Yeah, could be. Let's have a look at that. Uh, in his hand. Have a look at Dennis. He's... Uh, yep. One to Lee. One to Lee. Good shot. 17-13. <laughs> Now is really the time that any big push here is probably going to win you the win you the game if you Lee. I'm sure he's about Paul somewhere. Pass. What have we got up the end up there? Oh. Uh, 14 12 to Caitlin Inch. And he got a one there on that last one. What Great start there from TZ. Gary Kelly's just jumped out to 20 to 12 over Twisty. And Christina Christick is 20 to 13 over uh, Kelsey. And I can't see around the corner because of that big post. 14 12 to Caitlin over.
two bowls past ahead, but Teasy has got the back toucher. Stopping that jack from going through. Good shot there from Teasy. He's going to count past the head. Didn't change up the hard work that he's done. Have you taken it for a walk here? Have you? Great shot there from Lee. One down, but yeah, fell made back. all things way better. Lightly tighten. Move that jack out. Oh, oh, Pat, nice. oh, did he push it around? <laughs> he put his hand up. Uh, he didn't have a white flag, so he used his hat. Very, very stiff. So Lee coming... Uh, Backhand him. That jack must be there. It is <coughs> to the left of, on screen, looking up top yeah, there where the blue. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Slightly past the head there would have been good for Lee. Can Teasy play? Tries to play a similar shot to his last. Um, sit Lee's bowl makes one potentially two if he trails a jack. Depending on where it lands, could be anywhere from one to four. Looks slightly on the tighter side. Oh, it's got a good run. Oh, no. No, it just came across. Sharply, didn't it? It'll be Wonder Lee. Yeah, 18-13. Yes. Okay, we're um, Lee's just gone out one more, seventeen thirteen. Uh, Teefy's still in there, uh, and someone of his, his calibre certainly uh, uh, can uh, certainly catch up there. Yeah, good start, Lee. Yep. No, it's going to be around that. Notice that uh, both the boys up that end, both the boys' shirts there, starting to flap a little bit. But the breeze has come up a, a bit more up that end there. Uh, all the flags are heading southeast, uh, the direction of the wind coming from, yeah, pushing across. Uh, well done, Lee Schreiner. Great shots there by Lee. Uh, they will play the finals tomorrow afternoon, so semi-final and final tomorrow. Uh, yeah, one o'clock is the final tomorrow. And 
the semis are tomorrow morning, um, 9.30. Great shot there from TG. Yep. Still, Ooh, still, uh, still one, still one to Lee. Hey, up the line there, yep. <clears throat> Change the head around. Yeah, starting to come in. Yep. Good shot. Yeah. Two it is, says uh, Marker Dennis. Pretty close here, Teasy. Yeah, he's liking it. No, it's breathing shot. it. Yep. Ooh. Let's stay, stay, and yeah, let's have a look and see what's oh, happened. <clears throat> I think that uh, blue on the right-hand side at the bottom of the screen might be holding it. About to find out. Yeah, let's have a look. Wonder Lee. Yeah. Lee will just elect to go for the draw. He's drawn the shot three times so far. Can he complete the set? So far, it looks like it. Made it one. A much, yeah. much, much better one. A, a, be a better one, that's right. That's right. But then again, that uh, blue on the left of screen. Um, <laughs> How good is Cluffy's? Cluffy's comment. Where do they play the finals? After the semis. <laughs> <laughs> well done. <laughs> oh, going up that view. Might still be two. Yeah, I fancy that. Uh, I fancy uh, Lee for two there. Not, yeah, off well, uh, Not off the other one. I think it is just a one. Uh, yeah. well, Dennis looks like he's got uh, just, oh, I can't see Dennis there two. walking up to it. Was two. Two. It was. Yeah, yeah, there it was. 20 to 13, Lee Schrenner over Aaron Tees. So 25 shots up, getting out to the closing stages. Teasy's goal right now is to keep Lee off 21. You get to 21, they can go out in one end. Yep. All it takes is one mistake from there. Personally, I look at a game of singles. If you're playing 21 up, 17 up. Mm -hmm. Don't let them get to 17. There was an interesting comment by... Uh, 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 they, they were talking to uh, Kelsey Cottrell. Mm-hmm. And she says when she's playing, um, if the scores say, for example, 10-3, she assume, and, and she's leading 10-3, she still assumes she's on three. She works from the lower score and mm, just tries absolutely. to build, tries, as Great if she's there. on three, and tries to build. Yeah, uh, keep on building. Yeah. Not a bad way to look at it. That way you don't really lose your, your edge to win at that point. You don't start relaxing. Yep, yep. <clears throat> Obviously, when you get to the closing out stages you want to be a little bit more on the defensive side but obviously she's got that down pat yeah she's done pretty good Bowl here from Lee. No, just running past Fractioning. Not bad. You're a front touch and you put the second one past. That's uh, it's ideal. Asking for a bit of turn down here. The breeze has settled just a little bit. Wonder Lee, good shot. to sit easy quick yeah landing a bowl covering to some extent 
Well, nothing for sure to Jack Eye. He's played this really well. And he sits there. Really, really well. Yeah. It's a great shot there from Lee. He's taking over a little bit here. Oh, Lee Shona. Teasy is going big. And he's sprayed it. There's a hole there. Oh, gee whiz, Teasy. Now I like this. I like what Lee's doing right now. This is nothing to do with what the head looks like. <laughs> This is absolutely yeah. nothing to do with what the head looks like. Mm. This is rubbing the salt in the wound just a little bit. Letting that frustration sink in. I mean, he could, he could possibly get a handful there if he could... Uh, just roll that bowl, uh, the red bowl that's closest to the uh, the jack. Just roll it back, a full roll, maybe a roll and a half. Absolutely. That's his jack at this point. He's yep. drawing to that. If he's into it, great. He's played it well. Very, very good. <laughs> yeah. uh, yeah. uh, nope, same hole. Yeah, there he is. Yep, two it was to leap. So he's, uh, what you were saying there, you've got to keep him off 21. Well, he went past that. And see it so he's in the closing out stages and it's not even a maximum that he needs a three you still play defense you look for your ones you get closer and closer and if that opportunity arises you take it if the opportunity arises without danger I should say <laughs> danger singles is easy it's an easy game you just have to win the last end <laughs> I don't mean you can win the last end but if you're down <laughs> Uh, I guess you've, I've never won a singles game in my life where I haven't won the last end. Right. When you play shots up, not yep. ends. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> yep. Yeah, absolutely, Danny. Lee is very calm and steady. Cool, calm and collected. It's just on the run here. That first bowl has just been dynamite. Well, that sun's sort of come out a little bit, which is good. That'll help. Uh, don't want Dale to get too much of a sweat when he brings the weights in off the cameras. Yeah, no, no, no not for me. <laughs> <laughs> not for me? I'll sit here and watch this. Doesn't overly like it. As long as he stays somewhere around the area. Yeah, once you're, once you're tight on that hand, it's very unforgiving. It just whips away to the abyss. <laughs> Especially with Teasy's XGs. They've got that late hook at mm. the end. Yep. Starts to look like he's close and then whip. I'd be mistaken in saying Linny might have taken the lead over there. I can't see that score at all. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll just have a bit of a gecko there. Yeah, she's uh, only two behind, 18-16 to Caitlin. 18-16. Yeah. To Caitlin over Linny. Great shot there from Linny. But Linny looks like, yeah, she's holding shot there at the moment. Holding one. Comes a runner from Teasy. Be down game if he misses. He hasn't missed. Good shot. 
Great shot. So what do you prefer there, Dale? Do you prefer a, a respot or a or dead end still replay? Uh, it doesn't bother me as long as you know before you start. Yeah. yeah. No, it doesn't yeah. matter. You just, uh, it changes your style of the game a little bit. But yeah, I mean, as long as you know, that's the style you use. I think um, players of this uh, ability, they get a style for everything. Yeah. Yeah. You know, if it's three spot, you don't ever want to be short. No. You're playing that mm. first bowl. You're not trying to nut that jack. You're trying to you're trying to draw a foot behind, foot and a half behind. Get the jack on the way through. Great. You fall short. You've drawn the shot. If you're quick, you need the day. And are you heading down to uh, Lightning Ridge? Uh, I probably will go again. Yeah. Yes. Um, I haven't got my name in, but. Uh, with how busy everything is, you know, work, bowls, schedules for life, you just got to I'll give it a month out and then I'll make the final decision. Yeah. But as of right now, yes, I'm going. It's always a great time. It's good fun out there with the boys. Oh, yeah. Yep. You guys are going out again? Yeah, we go, well, at this stage, yeah, we're going out. Um. It's a long hoik out there, but it's mm. well and truly worth it. Yeah, nine and a bit hours drive, you know, take it leisurely. Uh. Lee is just on fire at this point. He can see the light at the end of the tunnel and he's just gunning for it. I think we're allowing four lightning ridges um, there. Oh, that's right. Uh, yeah, we're allowing on the six, it starts on the 17th, which is the Tuesday. We'll go out to have a leisurely drive out there on the 16th. Yeah, fantastic. Yep. What day do you say it starts? It starts on the sixth, uh, the 17th, which is the Tuesday. Yeah. Um, All day to get there on the 16th. Yep. Say again. What's on the Sunday? Oh, yeah. Yeah, but it, yeah. With a bit of protection there from Lee. He's holding the two. Oh, yeah, well, one, maybe two. T's going for the hit. He's got it. Got him. Oh, that's flying Good out. Let's hit the jack with full blood away. It's killed. Uh, Barbara, are we going to see any of the ladies' matches on live stream? Well, there have been, um, and we're just... Uh, I think we're, from memory, there was talk this morning that we may do the um, the ladies, one of the ladies' semis, and then the men's final, but it could well be vice versa. We'll be... We'll play with what they give us. So it's... Um, yeah, so we're from what we just heard from Robbie. Ladies semi-final in the morning at 9.30 mm. and then the men's final at 1. I'll try and guess who's going to be in the finals, but good luck <laughs> trying to guess it right. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> well, uh, the winner of this plays Aaron, Sheriff, and Gary Kelly and Ben Twist plays Corey Wedlock. Um, and then on the ladies' side, you've got uh, Lindsay and Caitlin. The winner of that plays Natasha Van Eldick, and uh, Christina Christie and Kelsey Cottrell plays Dawn Heyman. So good luck to picking it out and just having a look around the grounds. At that scores, it could be anyone there. What have we got? We've got Kelsey and Christina... 
and my eyes won't focus through these binoculars. Christine, uh, Christina, 21-15 over Kelsey. Uh, Gary Kelly, 21-15 over uh, Twisty. Oh, and 18 all. Uh, Caitlin and uh, Lenny. <laughs> oh, I love this. <laughs> Lol, I think Leroy would get knocked back Philly in forms on the internet. You know when it says, I am not a robo robot? <laughs> yes, you are. I love that. That's brilliant. <laughs> Stay with it. Yep. Uh, well done, Teasy. Probably hasn't worked out the best positioning for him. Lee come down there on the forehand, sit the ball, touch Jack. Unfortunately with that too. Unfortunately with that, like Teasy's Teasy's sort of taken one of his bowls out of contention of the head, even though he's kept one in there and a probably a better one. Oh, look at oh. the drift on that. That's mm. uh, that's doing the flipper. Yeah. In, out, in, out, in, out. And he got good shot. Good shot. I know it's 22-13, but it would not surprise me if TZ finds something here. Pick up a multiple on this end, get it 22-15, and then push all the way home. On the other hand, is Lee going to let that happen? Yeah. I'm not sure that he is, but... Oh, oh he's got a cut. Join the shot here. It's a great yeah, shot. Drawn it in, yes. Did Daisy just go to give him a high five and then take his hand away? <laughs> oh, I I'll have a look at that as he comes over because you can have a look on the... I oh, know, I thought I'd be able to pick it up off there. <laughs> Great shot, mate. Not. <laughs> hey, why'd you do that to me? Okay, ooh, that, uh, trying to chip the ball out. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I do understand his argument there. He's That's the hand that's drifting. And I felt the same hand across the line. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's, he's, he's cheering. And that's what he's saying. <laughs> yeah. He's, uh, yeah. By his hand movements. Yeah, by gathering. Yeah, by the indication of all the hand movements. That's what I've gathered. <laughs> <laughs> it's like sign language for lawn bowls. Oh, waiting for Lee to come back. He's just raced inside for a sec. And, oh, and... Linny was holding about three there at one stage, but she may... I think Did she, she still kill is, it? I think. She's peeled off. Mm. She might have got the jack. She's peeled... I no, she's got one to come. And yeah, she's holding three. Liddy's holding three with a yep. ball to play at about seven metres to draw another one. 
Yeah, that. Um, yeah. I don't know what's going on here. Oh, no, she's asking for uh, the marker, oh, yeah. the, the jack marker to be put up on the bank. She couldn't see the. Uh, Has Caitlin got another one? She may. Uh, one, two, three. Oh, I think she has because um, uh, both of her, she had the drive. Both of hers would 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 gone uh, in the ditch. One went dead, and yes, yeah, she has got another one there in a push the button, Rob. Lenny's drawing a good one. She's only a bit less than a meter off the lip of the ditch. As you can see on the left-hand side of the screen there, that jack marker. Is right next to the the rink number. Yeah. Yep. So she is holding four, but those three balls were near. Uh, that's one, two, three. By the look of that. Did she hit one of the front ones? She hit she? one of the front ones. Hit one of the uh, front ones. So she's got one out. Three. It is. I'm disappointed yeah. with that one. That's, she only had to be that's to the right. Make it Twenty-two, yeah. eighteen. To Lindsay Clark over Caitlin Inch. It's been a massive comeback here. Great shot there from Lee. I'm starting to agree with that robot comment more and more. <laughs> We're all going to a happy home here, uh, TC. Great shot. What an yeah, awesome reply well there from TZ. Getting down to the itty gritty stages. 22 18 to Lindsay Clark over Caitlin Ince. 23 13 to Lee Schrader over Aaron Tease. Do we have results from the other rinks there? Yep. Binoculars coming out. Oh, yeah, I can't see. I flat out see in the screen in front of me. Um, oh, here we go. We've got uh, Christina uh, is uh, 22 15 over Kelsey. Uh, Kelly, Gary Kelly's 21 17 over uh, uh, Benny Twist. Twisty making a comeback as well. Yep. And uh, Lindsay is 22 18 over Caitlin. And then we've got this game. <coughs> Easy holding a good couple. Lee looks to be slightly on the hide side. Would need dead weight at this point. Does have dead weight. Still didn't come back too far. Say two to Teasy. This is what he needs. Draw another one here. Make it three. He's holding 16 then. Lee one in hand. This is questionable. What's going to happen Ooh, here? He doesn't want to take it. wants to just come behind. Uh, that'll, that'll run too far. Still not bad. Lee, yeah, yeah, two shots to... Two too, shots. Uh, He'll be trying to draw this. Too many gaps for any runners. Draw the shot. Just cracked off his last. The weight was prime. Definitely tighter. Very close. Just needs to move a fraction. Oh, what a great shot yeah, here from Lee Schrader. The Schrunger burgers are out. What a great well shot. Done. For the runner. Oh, what's going to happen? Oh, he's just missed the outside of his own. Outside of his own was a chance. It's drifted some extra amounts. I must say, I'll, I'll give it to TZ. He is getting a little bit more drift with his XGs than Lee is. But in saying that, Lee hasn't played too many runners. And when he has, he's played it with choice of weight heavier than less. 
That puts Lee on to 24. So 24 to 13. Twenty-four, one away, one away. Someone uh, predicted there. Uh, Alan Vidler says Corey will play Lee in the final. I think that's the way. I oh, there it is. There. Mm, does that work out? Yeah. Well. Uh, no, because Lee. Oh, yeah. If he Lee wins this, he's got to beat Aaron Sheriff to be able to play Corey. Mm. And that's saying Corey <laughs> gets through to the final. We'll say Aaron Sheriff does have that intimidation factor, but Lee yeah. ain't intimidated by anyone. No. If there's anyone that I'm backing to beat, Aaron Sheriff, I'm putting Lee up there on that list. Up, oh, shaking hands next door. Uh, looks like uh, Lindy's won that one, prevailed with that it. one. Congratulations to Lindsay Clark. She has pushed home really, really strongly there. She was a few behind she uh, not was. that many ends ago. She was pretty much behind the whole game. Yeah, yeah. And towards she's the end there, she's picked up, you know, ones, twos, twos, and then two threes to go out. I wonder if mum's down here. She was down for the last couple of days. Uh, Old Coach Linny will be stoked with that one. Mm. A loose end so far. I think Lee's holding the one. Got nothing else but the draw. Draw the shot here, Teasy. Keep this game alive. They've got lights here. They can turn them on. Yes. You know, whether it's 12 ones, doesn't matter. And you think he's drawn it. That'll be, yeah, that'll be that'll shot. Be one. Yes. Yeah, oh, that's well done, Lenny. Um, I, I, I can remember when Lenny came to Helensvale Club when she was yeah. 11, 12-year-old. Yeah, and, uh, a long time ago. Yeah, that was, uh, I don't know how old Lenny is now. I, I don't want to say on there. <laughs> I'll Google it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I won't say uh, their ages. But uh, mind you, it was many, many years ago. I've been a member there 32 years, so. She's 39. 39, so 28, yeah, that'll be about right. Yeah, so when she joined Helensville, I wasn't born. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's going on here? Through you go, yep. Oh. So that's it. Dangerous. No, that's not it. No, no, it's not. Wonder no, Teasy. Wonder Teasy, yeah, yeah. I just, uh, in the corner of my eye, I thought that blue was in, but uh, here we go. We work again. That's it. I'll own the 11 more ones now. On the T. Yeah, go let him go T to T. T to T it is, yes. It's normally the length where you get more chance of getting numbers. Rubby. 
There we go. Oop. We'll have to get a little cord with a plunger on it up this end. <laughs> Robbie's had a bit, big, big week. He's tired. And straighten. Yeah, well done, Lee. Yeah. Start there for Lee. Game. Okay. T to T. Teasy's on his favourite hand. Looks close, if you ask me. Yeah, we're just starting to knock at the end there, now. She's. Oh, don't oh, tell me. Stiff. You're He's kidding. Love that. <laughs> 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 Stiff, looked like he was all over it. <laughs> Lee took a duck to the left. And uh, and Deasy took a duck to the right as a bird flew straight through the middle of them. Came at both of them. It's good here. Hold on a little bit. That jack. Hold it up, hold it up, hold it up. Ooh, oh, good effort. Could oh, probably run through just a little bit. I dare say that's one to Lee. Yeah. Oh, couldn't see that. I think uh I think uh, it was one. I think it was yeah. one to Lee. He didn't use paddle, he used his finger. Yeah, I think he actually <coughs> clenched fist, uh, Dennis, uh, for a measure. Right. I think that's what it looked like. Yeah, I don't think he'd be on that head if that was the case. So what's Teasy doing here? Uh, have to yeah, hope got for it. results. No, no, oh. Game over. Game over. Congratulations to Lee yeah. Schreiner. Well Lee done. Schreiner, 25 14. Well. A little salute to the crowd there from Lee. Yes, certainly, and uh, well deserved. Uh, got the accolades from the crowd up here. Um, definitely, definitely played quite well. That consistency with the first bowl in those last 10 ends was key to winning that match. We'll just have a quick look and see where we're over on the other side. Uh, Gary Kelly, 23-19 over Twisty. And uh, Lindsay's finish over Caitlin there, 25-18. And I've lost the other game. Oh, Christina Christie uh, beat Kelsey, 25-15. Uh, well, well, well. So some good matchups for tomorrow. Well, if I can find my sheet. Ah, here it is. So tomorrow we've got... Uh, Lee Schreiner. So Lee Schreiner versus Aaron, Aaron Sheriff. Yep. Uh, Corey, well, we don't know that one yet. Yeah, we don't. It looks like it's going to be Corey Wedlock versus Gary Kelly, but Ben Twist is on the combat. Lindsay. Yeah, Natasha Van Eldick versus Lindsay Clark. And Christina beat Kelsey. So Christina Christick versus Dawn Heyman. KK against D Dawn Heyman. I'll have to watch it uh, tomorrow from uh, <laughs> the family meeting. I've got to go up to Brisbane. I'll, I'll have my phone on <laughs> sitting down beside me. And, uh, I think that might be the finish there too. So Gary Kelly yep. with one. Yep, Gary, yep. Got it there. So Gary Kelly. Uh, Gary Kelly versus Corey Wedlock. The Battle of the Wirrilla Gorillas. Yes, it will be. Yeah. Well, thanks, Dale. That was fantastic, no mate. Thanks Thank for you having very me. much. I'll let no, you close pleasure. out. Yeah, well, uh, uh, most of the heavyweights go in the van. And <laughs> yeah. You have a good evening. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Cheers, guys. All the best. And a big shout-out to Club Tweed. Thank you very much for hosting this event, as you always do. But to the sponsors, BCIB Insurance Brokers, J. Carroll Club Promotions, Aero Bowls and Great Northern Brewing Company. And we've also got the uh, the green uh, 
the green one, Sports Lounge inside here, uh, is part of their uh, com recently completed uh, renovations. We thank them very much. Uh, Lee Schreiner, 25-14 uh, over Aaron Tees. Congratulations. So we've ended up now, and we know who's playing who. You've got uh, Lee Schreiner plays Aaron Sheriff tomorrow in the one semi. Corey Wedlock up against Gary Kelly in the other semi of the men's. Natasha Van Eldick up against Lindsay Clark. And Dorney Heyman up against uh, Christina Christie. So really good. And I think from memory we've got... Ah, uh, there we go. Uh, semi-final we've got tomorrow will be Natasha Van Eldick up against Lenny Clark. Um... Oh, no, it's not. Uh, what have we got? Oh, yes, yeah, that looks like... Yeah, 2 2 4, four two, 2 Yeah, so it'll be... Um, yes, it'll be Lindsay Clark up against uh, Natasha. And it'll be Christina up against Dawn. Lee up against Aaron and Gary up against Corey. So That's right, but I don't know which one we will have. Whether it'll I'd be say Natasha we'll probably, or I'd Dawn. Not too sure. We'll find that out tomorrow mm. morning, mate. But uh, what a great, what a great day! What a great day tomorrow, mate! Like absolute quality players out on the green. Um, down the semi-finals, 9:30 tomorrow morning, and the final at 1 p.m. What a day of bowls at Club Tweed. Uh, absolutely sensational day today. Uh, conclusion with that great win there by Lee. And, of course, just watching uh, after the World Bowls meeting I had, just been able to sit back and watch some of the other rinks. And, gee, where's the quality of play on those other rinks? She uh, fought all the way. She was behind for a lot of the game. Yep. And came through and won. Uh, well done, Lenny. And Gary, um, after his disappointment of losing to, uh, to Aaron and... Um, had to fight off the, the battle there this afternoon, achieved that over a very uh, courageous Ben Twist, who had a great week, and yeah. uh, quality games all over. Bruce, absolutely superb. So on behalf of the Gold Coast Tweed District Moody team, all roads lead to Club Tweed tomorrow morning. Come on down and see some great players in action. So with that, on behalf of uh, Robbie Allen, our fearless leader, Bruce Kirk, and myself, Brian Marshall, we thank all our guest commentators. We uh, hope you're with us tomorrow morning, ladies and gentlemen. If you're not with us, you better be down here. Enjoy your bowls and support your club. Bye for now.